just see. Welcome back, everybody. Pitch side. England have won this one. 22 points. This is. Electric out the blocks. Completed the greatest of comebacks. Gallant over. God break Callum. God Godfrey. It's Stephen Godfrey. He's at the goal. Stephen Godfrey. Your 2018 champions, the London Monarchs. Yes, the 2018.
marcar, City, vamos.
que se vea el campo. Que se vea verde, ¿no? ¿Ha visto, tío? Mira. Yeah, so, so we're in the UK, um, my first ever trip over to, to England and um, you know, I think it's been, been a success to be honest. Um, you know, we're finishing up now our, our four day um, experience with a tour around Carroll Road. We brought the boys down here last night, um, they got to see a live Premier League game against Manchester United and then um, we're now getting to see the stadium where um, the Manchester United players and Norwich players were playing last night, so you know, unbelievable experience. Yeah, I think you know it's gone as, as well as it could have. You know, we have to review it now, and I mean, you can always do do better. Um, but for a first hit out, you know, I think we've done um, a sterling effort, and I can't thank the staff enough. You know, from um, from the media guys to, to Juan Carlos, um, Ryan, you know, has been an absolute, absolute trooper. You know, I think everyone's really dug in, and it shows kind of what this project's about. That it's, it's not just the glitz and glamour, but we've got people that uh, are really here for the cause and just to do the best for the players. The best thing probably about the academy is just being able to meet different footballers from around the world and play against the big teams that you wouldn't get to in Australia. The coaches here are absolutely amazing. They help me in everything, uh, teach me the movements, the runs, the passes, what to do and what not to do. And to be honest, I've become such a better player since I've arrived. 
If I had to describe football in one word, I would choose magical. It's just a sport that I couldn't describe how, how much it means to me, and it, everything revolves around it. And it's just all I have, and it's all I'm gonna have, and it's all I wanna do for the rest of my life. I would say life, because I feel like my life moves around football, and it's just, I'm always watching football, I'm always playing football, and I just always have it on my mind. Probably a dream, you know. God's given me the ability to play, so I'm enjoying it. Um, I have to keep working hard training, and I'll see where it takes me. I play football because I love it. I just like playing. I love uh, the game, especially Spanish football. Uh, for me, it's like, it's my life. This is my life. I think I have talent, but like I say, it's not enough for all players. Even if you have talent, you have to work next to training and do everything you can to be at the top level. Basically, just um, if you want to make it, just go for it. Train hard, work hard, and don't give up. Uh, be able to adapt and change to things. Soccer is a very subjective sport, and it's all about the coach's mind and what they're trying to play, but it's really been a fantastic experience for me, and I would recommend you come try it out yourself. England have won this one, 22 points to six. Electric out the blocks. Oh, have completed the greatest of comebacks. Gallon to the first. God break out.
¡Balón, Arby! Oh, no, 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 no. 
tomando el pelo. Le sacan 10 minutos en todo el partido después. Vamos, City, vamos, echale más huevo. Well won by the other team. Go down the line, but it runs out for our throw. So, um, yeah, my name is Carolyn O'Reilly. Um, I play for the Feminino team. Um, I'm from New Zealand, um, so quite far away from home. Um, we had a weekend off, so we are just I'm just here helping out. I'm commentating for the second half of this game. Um, yeah, so welcome. Um, a tightly contested game. We've been keeping a lot of position, um, playing very well. So yeah, I've just come over from another game. Um, some of our academy boys have been playing on the turf um, just down the bottom um, here. Um, so we have come out from Estepona, which was about a two hour bus ride um, here this morning. Um, so they're playing a little tournament, um, a couple of 45 minute games. Um, they won their first game 2 0 which was good. Um, a good one for the boys. Um, yeah, so we're lo they're looking at um, their last game this afternoon, which I think is the final. Yeah, that kicks off at 1 p.m. today. That one on our other live stream. Um, I was commentating the first game, so it's been a busy day for me. <laughs> um, not usually a commentator, usually on the field, but <laughs> we're giving it a go. <laughs> No. 
nice throw in there. Cross him. Not found anyone. Good defending there by number five, which is Angel. Yeah, so if the boys win today, um, they will be join it, drawing um, first of the table, so it is an important game for us. Um, yeah, so, yeah, they are feeling the pressure, um, hopefully to come out with the win. Um, but, yeah, we are looking looking strong. Um, probably had most of the position of the game. Um, as I said earlier, the boys are doing really well, like keeping it through the back, um, using the centre backs a lot. Great ball there down the side. Uh, just can't quite get on there. But yeah, it was a really, really good ball. I uh, need to see more of that. This half. So the team they are facing today is La Canada. Um, I know that maybe five or so games ago they were... Um, near the end of the table, but apparently they have won their last four games, which has been quite a turnaround for this La Canada team. Um, so, yeah, they have um, stepped it up and have become quite a strong opponent in this league. Ball goes out for a throw in quite far. Nicely thrown in there, good touch. And switched out back again through the back into the midfield. Nice switch there. Good defending by the other team. They keep, seem to be keep shutting down those balls that are coming down the side. Switching out again through the defence. Cross in, but defender gets there, gets a hit on it. Easily picked up by our captain there. Nice and relaxed at the back. Looks to keep the ball again, switching it out. Oh, unlucky there. Ball just goes under the player's foot. Getting a new ball on the field. That one went quite far. <laughs> the weather here is looking a bit cloudy, a little colder than usual this week um, in sunny Spain. But yeah, thunderstorms and rain this week hasn't been the best um, weather. But can't complain too much, it usually is quite nice and sunny. <laughs> Especially better weather than where I'm from in New Zealand can get um, very cold there. Yeah. Has not been a bad winter for me, for sure. At the moment, New Zealand is actually in their summer, mid of, middle of summer, so it's complete opposite to this side of the world. Well won there, kept. Bit of a stray pass, but well cleaned up by Ivan at the back. Into the midfield. Number six has some good footwork. Well kept in by number 19 there. That was Pablo. Kept in very well. Very well kept in by Pablo. Good touch. Just lost there. Nice work there from the back line. Jacob out the side, it's done very well. Oh, ball through, and the keeper cleans that one up. Goes long. Out for our throw. Well done, that was good play by, by our boys. Looks like we have a substitute here for the other team. So we have a substitute. Yeah, player just walking off the side here. A 
striker coming off, I think. He was playing up front. The top of the midfield. Brings it down. Has a nice ball over the top. Just cleared out by the defender. Good touch there by number five. It was Angel again, number five, on the left-hand side. Great, great ball. Good touch. Crossed in and nearly gets on it. Oh, but there's a foul on the keeper. Great ball by Angel, number five, and amazing cross. He's doing a yellow card, hands it out there. Needing assistance for the keeper. I hope he's okay there. So Alex Dominguez just got the yellow card there. Obstruction um, of the keeper. Foul there. Alejandro, sorry. Sorry, it was Alejandro who got the yellow. But there was a great play by the boys. There was a cross from Angel, I believe, out the side across the field. And then a lovely cross in straight into the box. We got some ice spray on the keeper there. <laughs> Magic spray, as we like to call it. <laughs> Seems to fix everything. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be the other team's ball. Ball's played in. Bounces. Good defending there. Other teams seem to be contesting a handball. Not sure, I didn't quite see that. Good touch there, my number six. Samba. Oh! oh. And I'm not sure what the ref is calling here. It looks like the keeper's injured with a knee. Yeah, called for. I feel like there was called for an offside. And then another clash with the keeper and Alejandro. We've got the magic ice spray coming out again. The keeper's really in the wars today. Yeah, Alejandro's up, which is good. Doesn't look like that's affected him. And yeah, the ref is going to play the offside there. Which is good. That it wasn't another yellow. <laughs> since the first one of the touching the keeper was the yellow. Yeah, so if you've just joined in, um, tuned in, it is still nil all here um, in Neha. Yeah, pretty evenly contested game so far. We have been keeping a lot of position. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, my name is Carolyn. I'm from the Feminino team. Helping out on the commentary today, if you also missed that. Yeah, so, so far um, our Feminino team is one hour league. Um, so we do have the game uh, by this weekend, um, heading into a tournament tomorrow, which is quite exciting. Um, and we're also heading into the playoffs, as I believe our men's team are also heading into the playoffs, um, which is exciting um, for both teams. Yeah, both heading for promotion, which is really good for our club.
Yeah, um, so if you are interested in joining our academy, you can head over to our Instagram. Um, there is a link there. So um, go check that out and see what we get up to day to day. There is some, um, there is some information there. So yeah, we, it is, ball is just bouncing around a little bit now. Boys scrambling to get it back. Yeah. And it's switched out to the left wing. Cuts inside. Great touch by the player, great touch. Battling there, trying to win it back. Number 18 does really well there. Good defending. Here we go. Oh, great. Great little skill there. Just keeps it in. Number three keeps it in. Um, but the keeper does pick that one up. Yeah. Could have been a foul, but number three did really well there. Just keep that one in. That's Christopher. Christopher. Christopher number three? Yeah, Christopher number three did really well. Kobe, Kobe number three, sorry. Maybe his full name is Christopher, known as Kobe, I've been told. Just goes out for a goal kick there. Oh, we have a substitution. Let's see who's coming on. We have Javi Rodales coming on. And Yusuf coming off. Played really well in the midfield there. Nice header there by Angel at the back. Ball through, but easily picked up by our keeper. Puts the ball on the floor to play quickly. Out to our captain, Ivan, there at the back. Ball into Jacob. And we go back to our keeper again. Jose, the keeper, doing really well between the sticks for us today. There's Angel. Does really well there. That just lost out. Boys are scrambling to get it back again. Number 15, Papi on the ball, does well. Back to Ivan and to Angel out the side. Doing really well here. The other team seems to have quite a high press at the moment. Really putting the pressure on. Number 10 is in the middle. Well defended by the boys. Great ball to number three up the front. Not sure sure what that was called for. Offside. Unsure on that one. Called for offside. Unsure on that one. There was a great ball. Played through. Not too sure if that one was offside, but the ref is going with the offside call. Unfortunate for the boys. Ball cleared back into number three's feet. Well picked up by our boys here. Foul called on number 11. Alejandro again picking up a foul for us. Playing it back. Oh no, Ivan will take it. There we go. Out the back there. Nicely played into the middle. 
good technical skill there. Going up the left hand side to Jacob as he puts a cross in. It just went and had a little bit too much on it. Maybe he had a little bit too much wheat bugs this morning. <laughs> He has been doing very well since he came on. Jacob on the right-hand side. Keeper takes the ball into play. Well one there by Pape, number 15. Doing well going back to Jose, the keeper. Oh, great skills from him there. Awesome stuff. Oh, big tackle in the middle. Maybe just put it to his boot. Jose rolls it, rolls it out there. Yeah, just a little bit more about me. I'm usually found in the midfield, um, defensive midfielder. Sometimes you'll see me appear at centre-back. Um, definitely prefer the midfield. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's just a little bit more about me. Um, hey, I came to Spain from New Zealand in um, September last year. Um, so still quite new, still trying to pick up the Spanish um, Espanol. <laughs> The shot there from 15 goes well wide. But, um, yeah, so the Spanish lessons are going okay. Wouldn't say I'm fluent. <laughs> Wouldn't say I'm too bad. <laughs> the average. <laughs> Slightly below average, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so the style of football um, in New Zealand um, is a little different than what we're playing here at the moment. Um, so at home I would sort of more play like a 4-3-3 situation and um, this year I came into the season we're playing 4-4-2 um, and it's definitely a more um, keeping the ball style of play. Um, so yeah, being very patient, waiting for the right moments. Um, definitely like quick feet, moving it around, um, one-two touch, um, which is really good. Um, yeah, really good. Um, yeah, life in Spain is great also. Um, I am finding life in Spain amazing, actually. I really like it. Um, the people are really nice. The academy is awesome. Um, yeah, learning a lot. Um, honestly, it's a great experience. I'm really thankful to be able to be here. Um, yeah, honestly, if you get the opportunity to come to Spain, definitely would say take it. <laughs> definitely have not regretted it. It's been an absolutely amazing experience so far. Um, yeah. Boys seem to be slightly frustrated at the moment. We've got uh, 15 minutes to go of this this game. Um, it's still nil all. We've got a substitute for the other team. Um, their number eight is coming off. Yeah, so at the moment our women's team lives in Esapona with a few of the academy teams there. Um, so that's about, yeah, the two-hour bus ride as I was talking about earlier. Um, and our men's team lives in Almanica, um out here. Um, so it's good to be able to get here and support the boys when we have a weekend off. Um, it's nice to come down, change of scenery, obviously. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Really good atmosphere out here. may have looked like it was our throw, but the ref has called it the other way.
the ball has been thrown in. And number five does well again to clear that. And yeah, won the ball on that one. Thrown into Pape. Does well to switch it out the other side. Gets it again. Ball just goes stray. Yeah, there's that um, trying to play one two touch. Well defended there. Greatly defended. Ivan, our captain, has the ball, taking it up. Passing it to number 19. Oh, great turn by Alejandro. And a shot off. Oh, just reflected. And 19 has the ball. And another shot. Oh. Unlucky there, but great play by the boys. That was awesome. Started right from the back. Let's go, boys. Let's hope we can get another opportunity like that. Because that was, that was great. Unlucky to get not get a finish on that one. Great play though. Ball is played in. Goes out for our throw. Goes back again to Jose, our keeper. Looks to keep it again. Nice turn there and played out. Great switch of play. Boys keep to be, seem to be trying to play that one-two touch style football at the moment. Some of the passes just going a little, a little bit stray. Well done by number five, Angel again. Great switch of play. Offside there. Well done by the referees. Getting that one. It's probably about 10.15 left. Yeah, around the 10 minute mark. Well done there, the boys just keeping it at the back again. Yeah, our team are known apparently for the last minute goals, so hopefully we get one of those today. There's a great ball there. Oh, just goes long, just goes long, but right idea. So that we have a nice long ball there. Keeper just taking his time. Time here. We've still got some substitutes warming up in the corner. Maybe looking to make a few subs for the last 10 minutes or so. Hopefully we can get it a goal in the end as this game is very important. Oh, nice ball up the side there for the other team. La Canada have been doing very well. Those sort of through balls slash wide balls. Doesn't look like he's going to... Oh, yeah, there he goes. He pull, calls the foul in the back after a little bit of delay. Um, for the last 10 minutes, I just have a, 
um, friend from also from the Feminino team, um, Sky. She's just coming to join us um, to help me out here um, on the commentary. So I'll just in- let her introduce herself. Thanks, Carolyn. Um, my name is Sky. I play for the female side and I'm from South Africa. I have only been here for a week and so far so good. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season and maybe next season. Yeah. Great to have you here, Sky. She is actually my roommate. Um, so you got the roomies on the, f- on the mic. <laughs> How's your first week here been so far? Pretty eventful. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of experience. Uh, love the culture, love the weather, but unfortunately it's been very cold recently. Um, not enjoying that. <laughs> I have been telling her that the weather does get sunny, <laughs> but and it usually is quite hot, but um, <laughs> it hasn't really been um, believable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when I left South Africa, it was 37 degrees, so coming down to 14 great chance there created by the boys but just couldn't quite get on the end of it here we go back out that side takes him on great footwork oh and he gets pulled to the ground maybe not called a foul but uh oh number 10 does well 11 is definitely offside there um great call by the ref looks like they just trying to do anything they can possibly do to just win the ball back at this point because it's quite a tough, tough game. Definitely a tough game for the boys today. Great switch out there, my number 18. Francisco, I believe. We got Francisco on the ball again, nice pass. And Alejandro just loses it there, but good defending, great defending there. A foul given away, Un- unlucky. The boys are scrambling to get it back. Good defending by Jacob. Number six has a breakaway out the right-hand side. Good footwork there. Just cut out by the defender. Come on, boys. Hoping to get a last-minute goal here. A few minutes left. Yeah, just while we have um, a injury, um, we'll just see how Sky's Spanish is going. How's the lessons been, mate? Um, it's been slow. I've only been learning for a week, and uh, there's been no progress at all. <laughs> um, Carolyn has actually been my personal translator uh, <laughs> since I've been here, so she has been very, very helpful. Um, but yeah. Mm, yeah. No Spanish at all. <laughs> yeah, Sky is learning slowly. <laughs> Her first week I have been um, translating if we do go places. Oh, there was a good chance there, cleared out. Now we have a corner, which hopefully the boys can get on the end of this one. We see the centre backs, centre backs going up, Ivan. Hopefully can get the head on, captain can get the head on that. Alejandro goes to take the corner. Cleared out. Number 15 just gets on it. A wide shot. Right idea, right idea, wide shot. Looks like we have some more substitutions coming on. Kunda is on. Number 10. And Pablo's off. Um, he's played very well today. Yeah, Kundai for Pablo.
And then Kobe for Mario. Here we go, boys. Hopefully they can make some impact for the last bit of the game. The other boys have done very well today. There's five minutes to go. So last five minutes, hopefully we can dig deep and find that, that goal. Looks like we're just taking our time. The other team is also making a substitution at the moment. Ball is brought into play. Nicely won there by, by our boys. Bit of a scramble but we end up with it, with Jose at the back there. <laughs> Nicely kept by the boys. Great ball over the top. Well defended by the other team. Great defending by the other team. Great cross. Looking, our oh, defence just gets on it. Good, good press there. Good press there. Um, so yeah, Sky. Um, what position do you play? Um, I play centre back, but um, I feel like I'm going to be moved into wing soon. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So Sky came here last week as centre back. She's played two games for us now. Two games. Three, I think. Yeah, yeah, we've had three three games in the last like week and a half, two weeks, so it's been quite busy for us. Um, and she did make an appearance next to me on the left wing, <laughs> which was um, great to have her there. Yeah, it was quite fun, actually. Oh, just misses the ball there, but we... Great defending and win it out for our throw. Great defending there. Nice touch by number six. Good defending. Very good. The boys are winning it back quite high up. They're putting in a lot of more intensity, uh, especially with the last three minutes left. Ooh. Good win. Good through ball, just over the top. And it's a ball to hand, not a hand ball. Crossover. Oh. oh, unlucky, unlucky. Very unlucky. Great play by the boys. The intensity is definitely lifted around here. Yeah, hopefully a few more minutes left. Dig deep, we're digging deep. And it looks like the other team's coach is getting a yellow card. We love to see that. Not too sure what that was for, but <laughs> love to see it. We're on the other side of the field at the moment, so maybe he was talking, yelling, not sure. The ball is brought into play by the keeper. Well cleaned up by Ivan at the back. Brought out wide. Nice touch. Sees out for our throw. Just while we're in the last minutes of the game, if you are looking to come play football in Spain, um, do head over to our Instagram, check us out, have a look what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, see what activities we get up to, what the training's like. Um, you can also come, there's different options. You don't have to come for the full season. Um, there are lots of different teams, um, so you can see which team would suit you. Um, uh, yeah, so you can come and have a look, develop in your football. Um, yeah, there is a form a link to a form on the Instagram. 
So, at FC Malaga City. So, yeah, check us out. We are on lots of different social media platforms. Um, yeah, so go check us out. Well played there by Pape. Across and Papa's oh, just can't get on there. Very good cross. Just can't quite get there, unfortunately. You seem to be making a lot of those good crosses and just aren't being there to finish. Good win by the defence. Yeah, well won. Uh, seems to be going the other way for us at the moment. Yellow card for time wasting. Well done, ref. Yeah, good job, referee. So the top of the table at the moment is the Estepona team, which is um, actually where our women's local team trains and our home games are. Um, so we did get to watch the clash between uh, Malaga City and Estepona a couple of weeks back, which was a very highly contested game, um, which was good that we'll be able to support. Good ball in there. Uh, goal from the other team. Boys seem to be celebrating like they've won the World Cup. Unlucky. Might be in the last couple of minutes of the game. Very unlucky. To concede this late in the game, the boys will be devastated. Yeah, very unlucky. The boys look to go again though, they're set up ready to go. Yeah, heart, the boys will be heartbroken right now. But yeah, hopefully they can. Just having a quick photo shoot, sorry about that. <laughs> it's all going on here. We've been given snacks, photo shoots, um, goals conceded, but hopefully we can we can get one back. No Unfortunately, no just goes no. out. Yeah, it could be in one of the last plays. The ref seems to be like looking like he's going to. Looks like there's time wasting there in the centre. It's probably a minute or two left in this game. What, maybe even in the last minute. But one of the players seems to have gone down. If you're interested in seeing today's photos, head over to our Flickr. Um, there are... <laughs> there are a lot of pictures, not only from today's game, but from our under-17s, our females. Yeah, just to check that out. Yeah, definitely check that out. There's a bit of drama going on at the moment on the field. The tensions are high. Yeah, waste, definitely wasting time here from the other team. The ball is thrown in. Yeah, ooh, takes the player maybe to the chest throat area. Number 21 does her well. Sort of gets pushed in the back there. The ref calls it the other way. Unlucky there. Yeah, so tomorrow, if you're not up to much, um, it is actually a holiday in Spain. Um, Spain seems to have quite a lot of holidays, but we do, our women's team does have a tournament, so we'll be playing, uh, there's another 
player down from the other team. But as I was saying, was um, there we do have a tournament tomorrow, so we are playing um, two games. So we'll there's four teams in our tournament, and we will play a 45 minute game up first, and then hopefully if we win that, we'll be going into the final, um, and then against a team from Norway or another Malaga team. Um, so hopefully we do well in those games tomorrow. Uh, is the Norway team a first division or second division? Um, yeah, so it is a first division Norway team that will be in our in our tournament. Um, so we are looking forward to seeing some tough competition. Um, it will be on YouTube, it will be streamed, and that's the end of the game here today. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Um, unfortunate result for the boys to concede late on, but um, they did fight well. Um, yeah, that's... Thanks. Thanks for watching. Yeah, see ya.